In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can limit the effect of a follower modifier in the text plus node of Resolve Fusion. This will also work with the studio version of Fusion. I'm demonstrating here in Resolve 17. So normally if you're doing a follower, it affects all the different characters. But let's say if you only wanted this effect to occur on say last two or three letters, this video, I will show you how to do that. So just keep on watching. Now I will show you. Okay, we're going to start off, off here by removing the follower. And then we'll add it again. So just make sure I'm at zero here. Put the follower. I'll go to the modifiers tab. Now the key to this is normally you'd probably think you'd use the character range, but it doesn't really seem to work as intended. At least not the way the manual shows you. And I've played around with it for a few years now, actually, since... Uh, Resolve 15 and never gotten it to work correctly. So I figured a way to do it without having to mess with that. So you keep that in all characters. And the key to this is under order. Instead of automatic, you go all the way to the bottom to manual curve, choose that. Then you're just gonna set up like you would normally do with just a regular range. So we come over and I'm gonna do shading. I'm gonna mess with the size. So I'm gonna come down here, key frame the two parameters and make sure I'm at zero. And we set them at zero first. I'm going to move up to two seconds. So I'm going to move up to frame 59. Then I'll set these back to their default. So now it's just kind of working like a normal follower, except it's happening to all the characters at the same time. But you want to set it back to frame zero. Come over to the timing. And this is where you're going to basically set it up. So you want to make sure that you could see the characters here so you can see the outline so you could select them because you could be selecting them individually so let's say if i wanted to do the first all the letters but ve and those are the only ones i want the follower to affect so i'll select all the ones before that make sure they're selected here in the viewer now i'm going to come over here where it says delay by character position and set a keyframe there and then all the values we'll be entering will be down here in the delay value. And then for each one, I hit this button for set first selected character delay. And that will set it up for those characters. So we selected these first ones here. So we're basically, we want it to be already fully on the follower on these characters. So we're going to actually set a delay value of a negative number. So you usually want it pretty high and you can tweak it later. So I'm just going to do minus 240 right now. So then you hit set first character. You'll see it turns them all on. Now we don't have to move anything with playhead or anything. We're just going to select the last two characters. Now these we actually want to come on slowly and grow. So we come over here. We're going to set it here so we can just set it to the default of zero. So they'll start growing together at zero. You can separate them as well. For this, I'm just going to have them both do the follower and grow together. So we've had that set to zero. So we're going to click this button again. Now it might look like nothing's changed here, but that's because it actually sets keyframes uh, on your timeline. They really don't correspond to anything, but they are each one a separate keyframe. So if you move forward, you'll see the zero for the second set of characters we selected. And you go back, you'll see it for the first ones. You can see now, this is where I said you'd have to tweak this first number here. You can see that the first four letters are fully formed right at the beginning, but then this one's being affected by the follower a bit and we didn't want it to be. So we just select these first four again. And we just increase this number or decrease it in this sense. So we'll just do negative 300. And see that changed a little bit, but not fully. So we could go negative 400. Tilt in, so it'll go really big, negative 600. And you just keep on tweaking it until you see those are fully formed now. So now if I go through and there's actually play through the follower, you see the last two characters are now only being affected and they're growing and the first letters aren't. So again, you could tweak it so that the last two letters come on at different times. You just select each one of them and do the same steps we did before. So that's how you limit the effect of the follower. You don't use the character range 
You use the manual curve, set it up like I showed you, and you should be able to do this with any follower you'll be working with and with any of the parameters. So hopefully you found this video useful, and I thank you for watching.